Let me close part four by discussing incomplete references. And I must say that this is very incomplete. So the early history of linear response theory is very complicated. And I must say that I don't understand the history precisely. So the list may be biased or incomplete, but well, these are early papers. And linear response relations are sometimes called green Kubo formula. So many people regarded these two made important contributions. And here in this lecture, I discussed linear response relations based on fluctuation theorem. And the relation between fluctuation theorem and linear response relations were first pointed out in these papers. The reciprocal relation was derived by Onsagar in this historical paper. Okay, so some of you may have noticed that I did not discuss fluctuation theorem for non-equilibrium processes like generated by uh, operations in a non-equilibrium environment. But then, so we did not cover this. This is important, but uh, we didn't have time to cover this, uh, but I want to at least mention one very important reference which was, which was a pioneering work in this direction by Hatano and Sasa. This is very interesting. And as for the, the improved Shirai societal inequality and its applications to the trade-off relations between efficiency and power in heat engines, uh, these are the basic references, okay? And of course, there are many, many papers, many, many works on efficiency and power of heat engines. So please refer to references. And of course, there are, of course, there are recent works too. So. Uh, they are not listed in these papers, but then please look at recent papers. Okay, so that's all for part four and part five will be very short. So hopefully see you in part five. <laughs>